Hey, remember me? I know it's been a while. Before you say anything, I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Uh, I don't have any good excuses. Um, I just kind of like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of like not sure exactly. I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go in with like the tutorials. I do want to put out some more tutorials, but I gotta, I have to iron out exactly how I want to do that. Uh, but I did enjoy doing tutorials, so more will probably be coming eventually. Um, yes, but why am I putting out this video? Well, I'm not just putting out this video to hear myself talk. I have some pretty interesting news, and this is a, a different direction that this channel is going to slightly go in. Um, although, um, this is kind of what this channel has been all about anyways. Behind the scenes. So... Just recently, I got in touch with uh, a former coworker of mine who is a stand-up comedian. He has his own YouTube channel, and he's, he, had, he has all these ideas in mind about recreating certain movie scenes uh, in the form of parodies. And he needs my help to get this done. And so we're going to collaborate and work together. He's going to do all the storyboarding, he's going to lay out the scenes, and I'm going to do all the technical stuff, which is exciting because that's the part I actually enjoy. I am, a, I am a creative writer and I do enjoy all that stuff, but when I have to do everything, everything myself, it, it gets a little crazy and it's a little too much. So I'm excited to be working with another creative who is more interested with the creating part of the process so that I can take a break from that and just focus on the technical side. So I will not be in, I will not be in these projects, but I will be a part of them, obviously handling the audio and the video. And I was thinking that uh, I could throw in some behind the scenes stuff too. Uh, so you can kind of see what, what I'm working on. And of course we'll link to his channel so, and his Facebook page and whatever else we're gonna throw up there. Uh, so you can see, so you can find these productions. But yeah, this is kind of just to, to clue you in on what's going on. I know you've, uh, oh man, it's probably been over a month now that I posted. Uh, so just to let you guys know that I'm not dead. And, uh, and if you do comment on any of my videos, anybody that's commented on any of my videos within the last couple of days already know this, that I do still respond. I reply to your questions. I reply to your comments. Uh, so please keep them coming. Like, don't think that, you know, just because you haven't seen a video from me in a while that I'm just, you know, I'm not responding at all. That's not true. Because some of the videos that I have up there, they still get tons of views. So anyways, yes, uh, I will be putting out more reviews. Uh, but, but again, you see, it's just right now, I mean, if you want me to talk, keep talking about the Canon Vixia HFR 800, I'll gladly do that because I love it. I love this camera. In fact, um, I was just talking to that, that fine former coworker of mine earlier. I was telling him about my inexpensive camcorders and how much I love them and how good they are. And you know what else I was thinking about? I was thinking that, like, see, this video isn't supposed to be about the Canon Vixia HFR 800, but somehow it turned into that. Um, I was thinking earlier, like, if I had a lot of money, which I don't, <laughs> but if I had a lot of money, I think I would still want a Canon Vixia HFR 800. And why is that? Why do I like these camcorders so much? Well, for one, they're good. I mean, the, the, the video quality is acceptable. It is. And it's good enough for a lot of online work. Secondly, if this were to break, I wouldn't cry. I mean, all right, I'd be a little upset, but you know what I mean. I mean, it's $250 brand new uh, and this one that I have is actually the R80, but it's basically the same camera. I got this for like 140 bucks because I got it refurbished. I mean, yeah, like I said, because I'm not made of money and I don't have a lot of money, I'd still be upset, but it wouldn't be like uh, an $800 camera. I'd be a little like, if I had like the, the Sony AX53, which is like $1,000 now, um, yeah, if that got wet or broken or something, I'd just be like, wow, because I'd be screwed. Like, what am I going to do? I can't replace that. 150 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. 
it gets dirty, scratched, or whatever, I mean, I can, I could, uh, I could eat that if I had to. Anyways, wow, this is not what this video is about. All right, guys, just stay tuned. I'm sorry for for disappearing on you. Um, I'm gonna try to be in front of the camera a little bit more, at least. I mean, um, see, with the Lehigh Valley Music and Sound, uh, I'm in the transition process of of transitioning that over to somebody else. Uh, so I might still be a part of that technically, um, technical wise, but I won't be in front of the camera. So I'm gonna be able to, to breathe a little easier. Uh, and with me being able to breathe a little easier and not having to worry about being in front of the camera as much, I will be, I should be able to be a little more productive uh, on the Glizzingland TV Productions page and also um, with behind the scenes type stuff. So anyways, thank you for watching, especially if you made it to the very end of this video to listen to me blab like this. Uh, so if you did, please like and subscribe because if you can put up with this, then you must like me a little bit. <laughs> See you guys.